Hello everyone, and welcome to DevWave Diaries. Here, we dive into the latest web development trends and coding techniques. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you're in the right place. Today I am going to show you how to create an eye-catching input label animation. First, create a div with the class container. Inside this container, add another div with the class input field. Then, create an input field inside this input field div. Set the required attribute and turn off autocomplete by adding autocomplete equals off. Finally, add a label tag next to the input field and remove its for attribute. Then type inside the label enter your name text. This is the only HTML code that we needed for this animation. Now, let's start by writing the basic CSS boilerplate code. Set margin to zero, padding to zero, and box sizing to border box. This ensures that all elements on the page have no extra spacing and are easier to work with layouts and styles. Next, let's style the HTML and body elements. Set the width to 100%, height to 100%, background color to hashtag 000 for a dark theme, and font family to sans serif for clean, modern typography. Next, we'll style the container div. Set its width to 100%, height to 100 dvh, and use Flexbox for layout with display, flex. Center its content horizontally with justify content, center, and vertically with align items, center. Now, open the browser, and you'll see an input box and a label side by side. However, the label won't be visible because the default text color is black, blending with a black background. Now, let's style the dot input field div element by adding position, relative. This will allow us to position absolute elements correctly within this div later on. Style the input tag inside the dot input field div. Set its width to 22 rem and height to 3.5 rem to define its size. Use a border radius of 10 px for rounded corners. Set the font size to 18 px for readability. Add padding of 0 on the top and bottom, and 1 rem on the sides for spacing inside the input. Apply a 2px solid white border to make it stand out. Set the background to transparent and remove the outline to clean up the appearance. Finally, set the text color to white for contrast against the dark background. Now open the browser. You should see a clean input field with a transparent background and a white border. The text inside the input field will also be white. Next, select the label using dot input field label, then. Style the label by setting its position to absolute. Place it at the top 50% and left 15px, then apply a transform to vertically center it using translate y, minus 50%. Set the label's color to white, font size to 1.1 rem, and make it non-interactive with pointer events set to none. Finally, add a smooth transition of 0.3 seconds for a subtle animation effect when the label moves. Now, add a style for when the input box is focused or clicked. Select the input using input, focus, then set the border to 2px solid yellow green. This will create a yellow green border when the input box is focused. Now, open the browser and click the input box. You'll see the border of the input field turn yellow green, and when you deselect it, it returns to white. Next, we'll style the label for when the input box is clicked or focused. Use the selector input focus label. Set the label's top position to 0, adjust the font size to 0.9 rem, add padding of 0 on the top and bottom, 10px on the sides, set the background to black, and change the text color to yellow-green. This will make the label move to the top and change color to yellow-green when the input box is clicked or focused. Now, open the browser and click on the input box. You'll see a beautiful text animation. The label will move to the top and align with the input box's yellow-green border, while its color also changes to yellow-green. After typing something into the input box, if you click outside or deselect it, the label and the text inside the input box overlap. To fix the issue of the label overlapping with the input text after typing, we need to add a new style rule. Use the selector input valid label. This will ensure that the label retains its position and styling even when the input field contains valid data. Next, we need to update our styles to ensure that the input box border remains yellow-green even when the input field contains valid data and is no longer focused. Add input, valid to the previous input, focus style. This way, if the input box has a valid value and you click outside, the yellow-green border will stay intact. Now, if the input box contains text and you click outside, the border will remain yellow-green. However, if you delete the text and then click outside, the input box will revert to its previous style. 
This ensures that the border stays yellow-green when there is valid input and returns to the default style when the field is empty, this will create a beautiful animated input field. You can also experiment with different colors to achieve various effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.